Hi Nora, how are you? Good Michael, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. It is so good to be back at Barrow by Green. <laughs> this is one of my favorite plant shops. Actually, not scratch that. It is my favorite plant shop. I drive for about an hour from my house to get here, so. Yeah, about an hour from the city as well, out here in Warialic, Victoria. Yeah, yep. it's beautiful. I've got Michael here. Hi everybody, nice to have you. And Michael's gonna to talk to us about grow lights. I have tried many different types of grow lights over the years. I have found the information out there to be quite complex. I don't like the colors they put off. So I did my bit of research to find the grow lights that I have here today. So I've actually gone with Sensei grow lights. I found is that I really want something that's gonna be aesthetic to the eye. Um, something that's easy, plug in and away you go. Yep. So uh, first off is I've got a 15 watt full spectrum glow. Now what I like about these is these are going to be great for like a desk display, um, a small display in the corner. Um, very easy to install. E27 fitting. I was just about to ask you that Michael, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you can read my right. mind. <laughs> yeah. Straight into a lamp and straight away as it goes so this gives a 60 degree angle of light and the 15 watts can be used from anything between 12 to 39 inches of light so so is that away from the plant yeah yeah that's it you know you can always i always encourage people to experiment you'll find out very quickly if your plant's not happy they'll the leaves will start shriveling up if they're too close they're getting too much of that that spectrum and if you bring a little bit away i mean with indoor plants they they don't mind a little bit of stretch uh -huh, as uh -huh. well so have a play around with it a lot of indoor plants have different light requirements yep. so by all means so now, just a question michael yes. so would your plant get a bit leggy trying to get to the light it is if it's not close enough. Mm. So that's definitely going to happen because they're stretching. Yeah. Some plants, you don't mind if they get a bit more of a stretch, like um, calatheas. Uh -huh, they don't uh -huh. like too much intense light. Uh -huh. they, they like to stretch up. I think they're a shrub on the bottom of the rainforest. Right. So they, they're going for that canopy light, you know? So, but things like uh, your climbers and stuff like that, you probably want to hit them front on uh -huh. with, with the light as opposed to hanging it straight above. Yep. Other than being quite technical with how you have your lights, I was thinking just more like the aesthetics of it. Uh -huh. Now, you know, we all want the perfect design and we're all on Instagram and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And all, I just thought, you know, not having something that's going to make your house look like a hydroponic lab. <laughs> You know, what? Yeah. You have something against red and blue, Michael? Oh, yeah, I just, you know, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I just think like, you know, you can double these up as just a regular light as yeah. well. Yeah. So, you know, in the corner of the room, no one's going to go in and go, oh, what's going on over there? You know. So you could have something for, for yeah. a, a bulb this size. You could have your big feature plant, you know, like your yeah. Monstera or something and have a gorgeous lamp looking over that. Yeah, like you can have a nice shade on it. Even even using things like shades over the top of the light will help reflect it. Mm -hmm. And the reflecting light it can even be better because then you, the, the, the plant's getting the light from all angles. From all angles. And, and you get more of a rounded, rounded plant project cool. happening, you know. If you've got like a white room, you know, you can get it to bounce off. So, you know, we can talk about bouncing off mm -hmm. um, globes. This is this is one for like the real enthusiasts. That looks like a spaceship. It is. <laughs> it looks like it a satellite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this one again, same uh, light fitting of the E27, so straight in. Um, but you can also bend the arm, so that way you can get quite reflective lighting everywhere, so it's not direct and full on, or you can get quite even growing. I recommend something like this for someone who's doing um, seedlings in uh -huh, a tray uh -huh. so you get real even growth. Right. Say you don't have enough light and heat, you get yourself a heat mat, have one of these kind of over the top. And your seedlings and will go nuts. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And you get real good even growth because these ones here, they've still got that 60 degree angle. Right. So you're going to get like this perfect circle crop yeah, kind yeah, of happening. Yeah, like yeah. they talk about UFOs, you're going to get a crop, <laughs> crop sighting. <laughs> crop circle. Uh, but whereas this here, you're going to get a really good tray. Of yeah. Growth. So that's a bit more. Um, so this. The veggie growing too. So this right. also, if mm. I just hold it up like yeah, that. Yeah. So this has got that E27 yeah, light all, fixture all as well. It. So you can. And you can just 
put that on. You can change them around if you have different types of growing happening. So you have Fantastic. a particular type of, oh, I'm doing some veggie seedlings. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna have one of these in. Oh, I actually not doing the veggie seed growing. Maybe my indoor plants need a bit of growth. So you switch over to you like a, low, a lower wattage globe. And, right. But you, it gives you that flexibility. Fantastic. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, the the, the capacity, like what is it, the amperage? Mm, the par, yeah. the, all that stuff. Look, and um, look, I'll, I'll be honest with you, like, I'd have to look up all the um, the lumens and stuff oh, like that. Kelvin. Yeah, and then it gets quite confusing for me. So what I did is I, I jumped on, I like the look of these globes, mm -hmm. and I trialled them out in my shop. Um, I don't have a lot of light in here. I just have a window that fa faces south. Without these lights, I reckon my whole shop would look like a Mexican wave, just like <laughs> moving forward, you know? But they're all upright, and I, I was really impressed with it. So all you Australian guys, you want to check out uh, Barrow by Green. He's got the, we've got, I've got the link down in the description below, and you can get them from Michael's store, and there's no, they're not coming from America, coming from China, they're coming right here from Australia. Support Supporting small myself. business, guys. Yeah, thank you very much. Much, yes, we want to talk about the big one. Um, yeah, well, well, let's just show the big one and yeah. why you'd want to get the big one or the small one. Yeah, well, um, I guess the 36 watt is more of an intense light at a particular range. I just, want, I just want to show you guys yeah, this thing. Put that it's, on the it's, screen. It's a monster. Look at that. Yeah. It's huge and it feels. It, it's, it's got a bit of weight to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think this uh, look magnificent. You know, one plant that's probably a problem for most people starting out is monsteras mm -hmm. they come most of the time in a t like in a 25 centimeter pot yep. and they're triple planted mm -hmm. when you introduce them into a place and they haven't got anything to lean up against they just start become crazy yep. inflatable arms, arms everywhere <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> um, get a globe on it it'll keep it in its place right and it'll straighten it up and it'll know where to face and right. beautiful, like have a nice lamp over the top of it. Yeah. Beautiful feature and and light it up for all your friends to see. Fantastic. Make it a talking point. So Michael, you have set up this gorgeous Monstera. Tell me about this Monstera. Yeah, it's grow light seems to keep bringing that variegation out, and I'm looking in the stems in here as well. That is just beautiful. Yeah. That is glorious. Wow. Look at that. So you've got a light set up yeah. above this plant. So this one's the 36 watt uh, Sansi grow light that I have. Just the perfect amount for this size plant. Thank you so much, Michael, yeah. for taking the time out and showing us all your lovely lights. You're so welcome. like Michael said, you know, there's a lot to be said for grow lights and lots of people have problems with lighting and your plants could grow better if you supplemented the lighting. And it's an easy fix. You've got a lamp. If you don't have one in your home, you can just go to lots of places you can get a lamp. Ikea, everywhere, you know, anyway. Yeah. Less shop. than 30 bucks. Op shop, anywhere. Mm. Get a lamp, screw that in, and you've got a grow bulb. Um, yeah, and you know what? They last like 10 years time. Yes. 10 that's, years. That's, that's another thing. So you're not buying your lamp and then going to buy another grow bulb and another grow bulb after yeah. a year. Yeah. After, so once you make that initial investment. 25,000 hours. Yeah, that's a long, long time. It's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Michael. You're welcome. Thank you for your time you. and all the best with all your growing. Yeah, you too, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye.